conditions for the rescue teams who continue to work to try and find survivors under the rubble are very, very difficult. It's very, very cold and many of these workers have been sleeping right here, out in the open, burning whatever they can find for heat. Some of them have tents or have managed to find a car. Destruction is so widespread. Everywhere you look, there is a house that has been completely flattened. All these apartment blocks have been damaged. And sirens are non-stop. Authorities are asking people not to go back to their homes. It's not safe. And so every single car around here has a family sleeping inside. The World Health Organization is warning that these people, these survivors who have no access to electricity, heating or running water are also under great danger. The international pledges for help have been translated into some sort of assistance. Help is reaching these areas, but it's been quite slow coming and many people here are angry about that. The government says this is a tragedy of unprecedented proportions and that they are trying to do the best they can, but that there was no way they could be prepared for this. The fact of the matter is the roads have also been damaged and there's an incredible amount of traffic, of people, but also of machinery on those roads. And as you can see, basic services have also been um, affected. This used to be a hospital here in Antakya and it's obviously not operating anymore. Annelise Borges in Antakya, southern Turkey for Euronews.